Hello everyone. I'm so happy to be with each one of you today. Oh, I am sitting back in deep satisfaction for what is moving in our world today. I know. Can you believe I'm actually saying that? <laughs> How can I say that after we just had an inauguration, right? <laughs> because! <laughs> because I can, because I will, because here we are. Yes, I was part of the Women's March on Saturday. Deeply satisfying, deeply exhilarating. This is the year of the rooster in Chinese astrology. It starts the 28th of January, actually. So I put on my red nail polish, my power ring, my power ring, there it is, my power necklace. <laughs> for us all today. This year of the rooster is filled with miracles, magic. Can you believe it? Yeah, it's true. Absolutely. Got to believe in it. Extraordinary, spectacular nature of creation. The truth will be revealed in many ways. Let me read to you about the year of the rooster and then we'll talk about some other things. Where's my phrase? Here it is. Here it is. The year of the rooster symbolizes personal strength, self-promotion. Ooh, self-promotion is not egotistical. Recognition. You know you want it, right? Not in the egotistical way, but you want to contribute in bigger ways. You are being supported by astrology and by the whole universe of love in recognizing you so it's time to come forward and say okay okay I'll do it I'll do it alright and I won't be afraid that I'll be rejected and I won't be afraid that it will seem egotistical or self-centered or any of that okay a rooster energy roosters are very assertive and proud to show off their feathers yes their sparkly nails okay their plumage, I got the word right, yay, their plumage. Roosters arrive to announce the dawn of a new day. Is that not what we're doing? Announcing the dawn of a new day, a new era, a new earth, a new world, a new reality, a universally connected, love-filled, power-infused from the divine of all creation reality. Divine rooster, you see? Okay, potentials for new possibilities are in this year. The rooster says the day is what you make of it. Get moving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Show your brilliance and ingenuity to others. In historical cultures, it was a symbol of the sign of illumination and light. Say no more, look what we have working for us. And I'm sorry, I just haven't quite gotten where to focus my eyes so that I'm looking straight at you. I know they say look straight at the camera, but it doesn't seem to work with my camera. So here we are. Okay, great. So to start off our year of the rooster, I am impassioned, a little bit obsessed, with the Women's March from Saturday. I participated in Los Angeles and at least 500,000 people were there, coming from every direction to the courthouse, every street. It was just phenomenal. And I have a link below for you to see all the pictures of the different cities around the world that participated in this majestic event around the world. This is not an anti-anything protest. This was not, this wasn't even a protest. It was a march symbolizing, yes, we're here. And we were able to say, this is not love, this is love. And the march was about love. People were kind, generous, creative, collaborative. We helped each other getting to the march, being in the march. We were supporting each other to the maximum all day long. And I went out to dinner with friends afterwards. Everyone at the restaurant had been at the march. I mean, that is what we live for, isn't it? 
that feeling of co-creation and collaboration, knowing that the world is with us, with where you are, where your heart and soul is. You want to feel that the world is with you. So this was a, not a protest against, except, as I said, we stated very clearly in my heart, this is not love, this is love. And that is unique for each one of us. What is important, what is valuable to us at this time in our planet, in our world, with our people. Many issues are up for grabs. Many issues are on the table. We talk about will we have health care? Will we be able to support gay rights? You choose which are the most important pieces to you. And no, guess what? The March declared there are millions of people, at least a million and a half, marches in every state in the United States. And I believe it was at least 20 countries around the world from Antarctica, yeah, to Japan, yes. <laughs> it's amazing, huh? Uh, the list is below, and you'll see pictures from all over. People supporting you in what you love, what you want to create. And is that not what we're looking for? If we've had any fear about moving forward into the world, being a healer, coming forward, strutting our stuff, saying, yes, my life matters. Yes, what I have to contribute is important. You can now know energetically that what matters to you matters to many people in the world. We declared it all together. And it wasn't just a bunch of people being mad at a new president. It wasn't that focus at all. People had fun with signs, and yes, it was hilarious. I mean, you should see some of the signs. They were hilarious. So creative in LA, totally creative signs. There in our march, there were a quarter to a third men. Okay, so this was not a old-fashioned feminist movement putting up your fist and going bonk, 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 okay? If you saw Madonna's video, yeah, she did the bonk, bonk, bonk. That's fantastic. We need people in this world that are passionate, fierce, fiery, hear me roar, right? Yeah, we need that. We love that. When musicians, singers, performers come forward with that kind of passion, they speak for us. The year of the rooster, we speak for us. And we are as passionate, okay? If we think there's a problem, we it's okay to say, there's a big ass problem out there. It's okay for you to say that, it really is, okay? This is not love, this is a problem in my heart and soul. This is what I want to do from love to bring it forward. What is important to me? And I'm supported by lots of people. There's also a link below and it's from Michael Moore. I know some of you may think he's overweight, he's been uh, way too aggressive, don't like his haircut, he's always wearing a ball cap, what's with that? You know? Can we get past the personality and see this man as one who is on the front lines for everything that you believe in? So he speaks in the video that I have linked below about all the things you can do in what we call the political arena okay, to make a difference. There's tons of things. This is not a political issue. Please hear me roar. This is not a political issue. This is a moral, ethical, creative issue that we're working with right now. We have the right as human beings to declare in speech, in action, what matters to us, what we love, what we want to cre create, and we want to be supported in that. And this is the time to do that, okay? So if you get people backing you in what you're doing, and if you back the people that are on the front lines, it all works in collaboration together, doesn't it? Yes, fantastic. That's what we're here for. So for all of you who are going, I really don't even want to be here, this is all so insane, over the top, ridiculous. I hear you. 
I hear you. Yeah, there's a part of me that's laughing every day at how ridiculous it is. Keep the humor going. It's ridiculous. Do not feel dejected. Do not get into that slump of there's nothing you can do. I'm in the wrong place at the wrong time on the wrong planet. I wish I wasn't here. Your soul said, I want to be here at this miraculous time. Maybe you aren't on the front lines with Michael Moore. Maybe you aren't a blueprint deliverer like me on a mission. Hold something in your soul of your beautiful connection to all creation, the divine, to love and its imminent power. Hold that in your heart. That's all you have to do. And you're doing a tremendous service to this world. I give deep gratitude for what you're holding. But when you're holding fear, it's a very weak state. When you're depressed because you are underneath the false power coming forward in the world, then your connection is not shining like a rooster. Let your love for spirit shine at this time. So very important, okay? I get it. I get it. Now, people are talking about fighting as well. And you could say, I'm not a fighter. I'm a peaceful person. I'm not asking you to fight. It may look like a lot of people are getting up in arms and fighting. The beauty of the march, the walk of peace, on Saturday was nobody was fighting. There was no violence anywhere. There was nothing of that nature. What do we mean by fighting? That means we're making a change. We are change agents. And change agents mean we stand up for what's important to us. When you started meditating, when you started on a spiritual journey, you had to push up against your comfort zone your habits, your family, people in your community, and you still do that. You're pushing up against these old beliefs. Is it called fighting? No, it's called deepening in your gut, in your abdomen, that sense of passion. Yes, meditation matters to me. Even though I'm exhausted right now at the end of the day, I am going to spend 10 minutes writing in my gratitude journal because I love that and it matters to me. This is what the current fight is about. What matters to you? Put energy into it. Put energy into it. That is the creative way to fight. Say yes to it. No matter how parts of you feel, no matter how others in the world feel, say yes to what your heart and soul thrive on. That is what the year of the rooster is about. Saying yes to what your heart and soul thrive on. Maybe that's a cause over here. Maybe that's having health care. You can participate in being a change agent in the larger picture of this world as well as in your own heart I know you're doing tremendous amounts of inner work, which is what matters most in your heart and soul, in the very cells of your body to make changes. I salute you in that, absolutely, very deeply, because the change does come from the inside out. And as that change comes, it is important to declare in yourself, I will be an agent for change in these little ways, you see, okay? I have the ways I'm gonna be doing it. I know you have the ways that you're going to do it, and that's co-creation and collaboration. And our movement forward in creating the beauty of the new wor world, of the new earth, the new reality that we so know is coming. Hold that vision that it is coming. Please hold that vision. It's on its way because we're here. And I'm here to totally cheerlead you today. Enjoy the pictures 
of the mass of humanity that is with you supporting change. This is love. And be with the mass of humanity supporting you in saying this is not love. You know the difference. Hold that in yourself. Bring it forward. More love, more love, more love. Okay, great. I am so happy to be with you. This is not love. This is love. Keep that mantra going. All right? Oh, great roosters for creation from love.